Welcome to the 2017 NCHA Lucas Oil Super Stakes. I'm here with the winner of the amateur four-year-old final, Caden Rutherford, who rode Fantastic One and marked a 215. Congratulations to you, Caden. Thank you very much. Thank you. How does it feel to have this win under your belt? Uh, it's pretty special. It's uh, been a dream come true. Um, everyone I've looked up to has won in this pin and done well in this pin. Um, I just wanted to go out there and have a clean run and just happened to be my day. What was your game plan? Um, today, I just wanted to uh, get drove out far and uh, just be clean and accurate and get this horse uh, through a run. Cody's going to show him on Thursday in the open, and I just wanted to keep him together for Cody to show him and not, not do anything too crazy out there. So describe your run to us as you went through it. Um, first cow we cut was a slick yellow cow, and uh, she was a little tough there to start, kind of got me a little flat in the corners a little bit was trying to a little hard I didn't really get driven up as far as I wanted to but uh we held her and it was all good win there for our second cow and I cut a black calf and she let me kind of drive her up pretty far and she was awesome she kind of kind of helped make my run and then we finished up on a little black black baldy that uh Cody kind of pointed him out it was right there on top and she just helped finish the run and just helped help get through it really Overall, it seemed to be a fairly low-scoring final. Were you nervous with the 215? Because you were in the first set. Um, yeah, I had a good draw. I was fourth horse in the first set. And, I mean, the cows were really tough all morning long. And, uh, I was, I mean, I wasn't even in here for the second set. I didn't watch the second set. Uh, I you was, butterflies? Yeah, I was just pumped to get shown in here in the finals. I've had a lot of tough luck in here in the finals. And I was just really happy to get through it in here in the finals for sure. How do you find competing in the Will Rogers? Does it just make you more nervous than other other arenas, or what's your take on it? Uh, I mean, it's really hard to describe what it's like showing in here. Uh, the five, six-year-old, I had a lot of trouble just getting shown and getting through runs, and I don't know what it is. I mean, this place is just special. There's something about this place that just makes you feel all the history, and I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I've seen a lot of fraternity finals in here, and seen this place get really wild and there's just something about that even when it's empty it's like just surreal to be in here and competing in a go-round much less the finals of a triple crown event for sure okay so tell us about how you got into cutting um my dad actually uh was given two mares two doc lena mares by his old business partner max pointer from jacksboro and he's one of our great family friends and uh, I started riding with Diego and Ascension and a Don Manuelos, and those guys kind of taught me the basics of cutting and uh, moved on, uh, rode with Tom Dvorak, and that guy's like a brother to me. I can't say enough good things about that guy. He's probably one of the coolest guys, most genuine guys I've ever met in my life, and he's taught me more about not just about cutting and getting through runs, but taught me so much about persevering and and not letting the bad times and the bad things get you down and just kind of putting your butt down and going forward. And I just can't say enough about him and uh, Cody Porterfield as well. I kind of am a new part of his program and I've been riding with him for about a year and both him and his wife, Cheyenne, they're just top shelf people and really look out for me, look out for my horses, just want me to do good. And it's just- Sounds like you've got a great cutting family behind you there. I even hear you've got your own kind of private house at Tom Dvorak's. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Tommy D sold my dad actually uh, part of his place, a little house kind of in the back part. And my mom's renovated it and getting ready to move out there pretty much full time. So we're pretty excited about that. All right. And finally, tell us about Fantastic One. It's a horse you share with your brother. Explain that. Um, yeah, I, we bought this horse. My brother and I uh, bought this horse at the NCHA fraternity this past year after the amateur go rounds. And I tried, Clay, Clay pulled me to the side one day and said, hey, I think this would be a great horse for you to show. And I think Cody could do well on it too. And uh, picked up the phone and called my brother and he was like, hey, let's let's go halves on it, let's buy it. And I was like, all right, man, like that sounds good to me, so. But he's giving you the reins to show it essentially. He uh, He's he's just awesome. We're just a tight, tight family and uh, if, if one of us is all in for something, everyone kind of jumps on board and, and goes with it. It's pretty cool. That's really neat. Great speaking with you today. Congratulations. Thank you very much.